We are going to be opening up a Shopkins Lil Secrets, and this is one of the secret shops. This is the Happy Steps Dance Studio. Um, back there, we have the Sweet Retreat Candy Shop. So this will be the second shop that I'm adding to my collection. Inside, we have our secret shop, and there will be a tiny shoppy and also a set of keys to open the lock on the front of the shop. So let's go ahead and get this open. So inside the packaging we have our secret shop here and then it comes with this uh, box that has all of our keys and our tiny shoppy inside and if you can peek in the lock there, I'm not sure if you can see inside, but it looks like our little shoppy is in there. Um, it says unbox and find my keys. So we're going to open that from the bottom. And there's our shoppy, and she says, help me get in my shop. And then we have this uh, blind bag package here. So I'll get the first one open. And that is our first key. Uh, it's really, really pretty. It has a pink bow on it, and it's very pastel pink. Then in our next one, this will be the loop that we'll put our keys on so that we don't lose them. It's a purple pastel loop uh, heart shaped. Oh, and then here is our tiny shoppy. And she is super cute. She has a pink uh, tutu on, a pink bow in her hair. She has bright uh, pink, almost salmon colored hair. And she has some ballet shoes. And then in the last slot should be our second key. Okay, so there's our spare key, and it is really a good idea that they give you the second key, and they even give you a spot to hold it on the back here. That way, if you ever lose the first key, you know that one is always with the shop. And then the last thing here is the checklist, and we'll take a quick look at that so that we can find out the name of our shoppy. And here you can see some of the other sets that there are. There is the Sweet Retreat Candy Shop, the Cool Scoops Cafe, the Rosie Bloom Cafe, and then here's the one that we have, the Happy Steps Dance Studio, and the shoppy is Ellerina Slippers. And it looks like there will be two more coming soon. Okay, so first let's look at the shop itself. Um, so on the front, you can see there's a big ballet slipper um, with some ruffles at the bottom. And the ballet slipper is a light pastel pink with a pastel purple bow at the top or lavender bow. And then we have some nice design at the top of the door there with some ballet slippers and some ribbon. And we have ivy coming down the front, uh, two large white doors. On the side, it looks like there is some uh, drainage for the roof, which is a cool um, detail. Then you have some brick siding and a window at the top. The back is pretty plain, just the roof and the lavender building. 
And then on this side there are some more windows with awnings and some more uh, cool drainage there. And then at the bottom we have some uh, stone detailing and at the top there is the uh, pink roof. So I went ahead and put my key onto the loop so that we could go ahead and open the shop and I figured out last time with the other one of these that it's not so much about turning the key, it's more about pressing in to hit the lever which opens the shop like that. So here we have the inside of the shop, and at first look you can see it's very pink and very pretty. We'll start looking at the lower level first. So we have here a display case that looks like a pair of ballet shoes. Uh, they're darker pink with a darker purple bow, and you can see the little different pairs of shoes inside of there. And then at the bottom we have a wood slatted floor for them to practice dancing. Uh, it looks like there is maybe a counter or a cash register there and also a little uh, seat uh, that looks like a ballet dress and then we have a mirror here uh, with the plie bar so that they can practice their dance steps there and on the side there we have a rack with two different uh, tutus, one red and one pink and it looks like there is a little swinging door there and a little hangout area with a uh, bench so that they can sit and get changed and then go practice their dancing. So then there are some stairs that lead to the upper level and it looks like there's some pictures on the wall. So let's see if we can get the top level opened. Okay, so whereas the last one I had lifted up, these seem to pull out that way. So the two sides pull out and that pulls up. And it looks like it is a stage for them to have their recitals. So on the far side over here, you can see there is a light pink piano uh, where the pianist would play. And then on the other far side here, I guess you have the uh, box where certain special um, audience members can sit. And then on the floor there, you can see that is for the general audience. And you have uh, some shoppies down there watching. You can see some of them looking up. That's super cute. And there are also some flowers and roses on the stage. So I really like this set. I like the theming of it. Uh, I like that there's a lot for the shoppy to do inside of this set. And overall it's just really pretty, really pastel. And I've said this before, but these remind me so much of Polly Pockets that I grew up with. Um, so I'm just really excited every time I get to open one. Um, so let's take a look and see what our shoppy can do inside. So I took some of the shoppies from some of my other small sets so I could show you guys what the shoppies can do inside of this playset here. Um, so first, down at the bottom, we have a shoppie who is in the dressing area and she still has yet to get dressed for her practice or performance. And then we have a little Ellerina at the mirror and she is getting dressed and practicing her plies. And then at the top level here, we have a shoppy who is currently on stage at the recital. And you can use this little uh, gear down here to twirl her around onto the stage so she can dance for her friends. So overall, I really like this set. Uh, there's so much to do for the shoppies. It's very interactive. I love the two levels of the playset, and it just gives it a, a more interactive feel to it. I love the colors and the theming. 
Um, and I think it'll make a great addition to my collection. So thank you guys so much for watching me open this uh, secret shop. If you feel inclined to subscribe, please do. And for more videos, check out my channel.